Here a dill. Click play to start. Hey, Dad, I found these letters with cool stamps on them. What are they? They're from Tatsuya Matsumoto. He was my pen pal from Japan when I was in seventh grade. I forgot how much I enjoyed writing back and forth with him. Can I read them? Sure. Would you want a pen pal? Why or why not? Hey, Buster, I decided I want a pen pal, and I think I found a good one. A dill akuz, eight years old from Turkey. Ooh, I know a lot about Turkey. There's honey glazed turkey, smoked turkey, roast turkey. Buster, it's Turkey the country. Oh, I know a lot about that, too. That's where Illinois Jack and the Caravan of Horrors takes place. Illinois Jack has this really cool Turkish friend named Mustafa. Mustafa and Illinois get chased through the covered bazaar. Then Mustafa saves him from a pit of man-eating newts. The banquet is my favorite part. They ate lamb's eyes. You should write to that Turkish kid, Arthur. I bet you he's really exciting. Why does Buster think it would be exciting to learn about a dill? And then I had a slice of pepperoni pizza and a brownie with my friend Buster. Pepperoni? A brownie? That was my day. Please tell me all about your day and life in Turkey. Sincerely, Arthur Reed. What do you think Turkey is like? If you don't know, how much you find out? On weekends, Adil works in his father's grocery store. They sell lots of cool things like spices and lamb's eyes. Lamb's eyes? Well, he didn't say that, but that's what they eat in Illinois Jack and the Caravan of Horrors. Did Adil like your letter? He said he liked it, but my letter was dull compared to his. I'm sure that's not true, Arthur. Well, maybe something exciting will happen to me tomorrow. What's wrong? You're so quiet. Sorry, I just don't know what to write to Adil. Even less happened today than yesterday. Didn't Adil ask you lots of questions in the last letter? I already answered them. A brownie is a kind of chocolate cake. Pepperoni is a type of sausage. It's so boring. Just ask him more questions about Turkey. It sounds so exciting. Here, take Illinois Jack for inspiration. Should Arthur use the Illinois Jack comic to learn about me? Why or why not? Dear Adil, what is your school like? How do you get there? Hey, I wonder if he rides a camel to school like Mustafa. I'm asking Adil some very exciting questions. Do you think he will like them? Does your camel have its own tent, or does it sleep in yours? I don't have a camel. Why does he think I have a camel? What is your favorite food? Please describe the taste of lamb's eyes. Ew! I don't eat lamb's eyes. Where is Arthur getting these ideas from?
This is weird. I don't even know if I'm going to write back. Arthur has wrong ideas about my life. How do you think that makes me feel? If I write back, what should I say? Hi, Mr. Higgins. Any letters from my pen pal? No, sorry. Hey, is that an Illinois Jack comic? <laughs> Those things are so funny. Funny? Yeah, they always get everything wrong. Really? I thought the comic was always right. No way! It's like those American TV shows I used to watch in Ecuador. It looked like every kid in America lived in a skyscraper, went surfing after school, and put ketchup on all their food. Yep, you sure would have a weird impression of a place if all you knew of it came from TV and comics. Oh no, I've been asking Adil weird questions. Why did I assume that Adil's life was like Illinois Jack's? So that's why he hasn't written back for three weeks. I probably offended him with my questions. Maybe I should just get an American pen pal. Why don't you write back to him and explain what happened? Well, I'm kind of embarrassed. Give it one more try. It's not always easy making friends from other cultures, but trust me, it's worth it. Should I keep Adil as my pen pal? Why might it be worth having a pen pal that's different from me? What are some things I could do to learn more about Adil? Wait! Adil has an email address? Dear Adil, just wondering if you got my letters. P.S. I didn't know you had email. How do you plug your computer in? Dear Arthur, I plugged my computer into the wall of our apartment. I don't live in a tent. Oh, I read this comic and it gave me some weird ideas about how you lived. Is that why you didn't write back? Yeah, I was going to correct you, but I thought it would take forever. And then you didn't answer any of my questions. That's because my answer sounded boring. They weren't boring. Hey, go ahead, ask your questions. Do you play video games? Which ones do you like? I do play video games. Usually I play on a computer or a tablet. I like games where I can build things, like zoos and houses. What is your school like, or are you taught at home? My school is pretty big and a little crowded. We have our elementary and middle schools together in one building. One good thing is that I get to learn a lot from older kids. What kind of money do you use in Turkey? Our money is called the Turkish Lira. You can buy a delicious ice cream for just one Lira.
What are your friends like? My best friend Buster is really funny. My best friend is named Ander. He is so funny, but sometimes he gets in trouble for not doing his homework. I really like to read. I go to the library all the time. Do you like reading? I love to read. My favorite books are books about Turkish history. It's so interesting. What's your family like? I live with my mom, dad, and two little sisters. I live with my mother and father and my little sister Aisha, who is very annoying. Do you have a favorite food? If so, what is it? My favorite food is called mantis. It's so delicious. Its dough folded around a super tiny ball of meat, like a mini ravioli. I'm glad Arthur is writing to me again. His questions seem better now. Why do you think that is? Before Arthur told me he was afraid that his answers were boring, but I didn't think they were boring. Why do you think we had such different opinions? D W, Arthur, are you still there? Sorry, Adil. My pesky little sister just started typing on the keyboard. <laughs> My little sister is always doing that. It's so annoying, Adil. I think we have a lot more in common than I ever imagined. Have you ever had ideas about someone that turned out to be wrong? How did it feel when you found out the information was wrong? What did you do? Has anyone ever made an assumption about you? How did you feel? Thanks for helping Arthur and me. Hope we can talk again soon. Bye.